What's up guys, we're back with another cool video. Today, I'm gonna teach you a couple cool things. I'm gonna teach you how to do a stinger transition, how to install it in the Streamlabs OBS. This only works in Streamlabs OBS. It's slightly different in OBS Studio, but if you can figure it out here, you could probably figure it out there. Now, I'm also gonna teach you how to do connections between scenes. Maybe you want, you know, one stinger from one scene to another and then a different one from, uh, you know, two different scenes. We can absolutely do that. It's super easy. And then third, I'm gonna show you where to get 10 cool transitions that are professional studio quality. Now you can get things like this where it's just a simple transition between one scene or another. You can even find ones that have sound and it'll look a little bit more clean like this. Or maybe you want something that's absolutely wild like a kaleidoscope. All of these can be done absolutely free. Let's go ahead and hop into Streamlabs OBS and I'm gonna show you how. All right guys, we're over in Streamlabs OBS. Now, the first thing you gotta do is find some stingers. Where are you gonna do that? I'm dropping a link to 10 of them in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and check out the description of the video. You'll find the link to Visual by Impulse and they have a 10 stinger pack that's absolutely incredible. Also, big news, VBI was acquired by Corsair today. So that's gonna be something that's super cool to look for in the future. You know, Elgato, Corsair, VBI, all of those are probably gonna work together a little bit better now. So it's kind of interesting to see where this goes and what this takes for the future. So let's say you wanna hop into OBS and you wanna add a new stinger. How do you do that? So you go right above your scenes and you'll see the cogwheel, hit edit scene transitions, and here is where you'll add a new one. So you wanna go ahead and add transition. Okay, and then select a stinger. And then here is where you pick the video file. So right here, you can see I've already downloaded the VBI pack. So you wanna go in here, pick which one you want. We'll do one we haven't done yet. Let's do bubbly reveal. Um, and they give you two different file types. I like to do the WebM ones because they come with sound, uh, whereas the MOV ones do not always come with sound. Um, that is just something I've noticed with them. It can be totally random, but go ahead and pick it. Um, whatever one you want to do now you have to set the transition point and this is where it's gonna be a little bit different on every one 500 seems to be about a Sweet point. So I always start with 500 to kind of see what it looks like if you want the audio Go ahead and set like to monitor and output and that'll give you the audio for the transition Okay, so now and then you want to name it whatever it is. This one is you know bubbly purple so we'll go ahead and name it that, hit done. It'll show up here now, okay? So now you go ahead and select this right here and then hit done. Now, when you go to another scene, so we'll go back to like a random scene. Boom. You got the bubbly purple transition and we'll go back to where we were. It's that easy to do. Now, what if you wanted to do, you know, from this scene to uh, this scene down here and have a different transition or one from this one? How do you do that? And that is called a connection. So you go to the same spot and instead of using this transition tab, you want to click on connections. Now hit add connection and then pick your starting scene. So let's say it's from YouTube to YouTube one. Okay. I just made a couple scenes. Just, I can show you this pretty easily. And then you select, you select the transition that you want to do. So let's go with, um, let's go with slide reveal white. So one, YouTube to YouTube one, it should now be a slide reveal white. So let's go back to YouTube. And now when we go to YouTube one, you can see we got that slide reveal white. So it's pretty cool. It's that easy to do it. Um, that's how you add a transition and how you add a connection. Now there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. I recommend just going through and playing with it. There's tons of free options out there, but as always, I love Visual by Impulse. So their link is in the description below. Make sure you go grab it and give them some love. It's absolutely free of cost. Um, you can tip them if you want. Um, that's completely up to you. They do great work. So, you know, think about it. All right, guys, it's as easy as that. Adding a cool new stinger to your stream can and will make you stand out a little bit on Twitch. And also it can be a good conversation starter. Someone's gonna wanna know how you did that or where you got your stinger from. And as we know, as a small streamer, it can sometimes be hard to keep chat flowing. So the more things you can have that stand out, the more questions that people are gonna ask and it'll help you keep that chat flow going. So if you guys found this helpful, please, please consider hitting the subscribe button. You can find us on Twitch. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on TikTok. And we'll be back next week with another quick hit and tip for you guys. Much love. Peace.